the user interface. The term user interface is really just a fancy way of saying, how do you use it? What do I need to do to interact with this device called the BrailleSense 6 uh, in order to make it work? So what are the commands? Uh, how do I move around? How do I interact with the device? If you're familiar with earlier iterations of the BrailleSense product line, chances are very good that you're already very familiar with the user interface. However, if you're not, there's just a few things I'd like to show you. For example, on the Braille Sense, if you press the function key F1, which is one of these flatter keys, all the way to the left edge of the, uh, the unit. Final manager, F. And in the case of the Braille Sense 6, there is a tactile marking on the front edge. I always get to the main menu. And in this case, I hear that I'm at the top of the main menu with file manager selected. Function key F2, also to the left of the space bar and to the right of F1, will always get me into the menu system for the application that I am in at the moment. F3 and F4, cleverly named, are to the right of the space bar and F3 is our tab key holding down the space gets us um, going the other direction if we're in a dialog box so it's back tab f4 is close so it's always going to close us out of whatever application or window that we happen to be in at the moment so now that i'm in my main menu i'm just going to go ahead and press the space bar word processor w and I hear word processor, which is the second item in my menu. And it's uh, accompanied by the letter W, which is the associated hotkey. Notepad, N. Uh, there's notepad, N, is the hotkey for that. Email, E. Email. Media, M. And media is the letter M. So the difference between a shortcut key and a hotkey is that a hotkey is actually going to launch an application. In the case of um, the media player here, media player M. I just press the enter key. Uh, I rather, this is the media folder, and at the top of it is the media player. And I can uh, press either space with dot four to move down through the list here. FM radio R. Or space like I was doing in the main menu. Podcast P. There's podcasts. Podcast P. And that's the last item in our media player. If I want to move back, I can press one of those old legacy keystrokes, space with the letter E to exit. Media, M. And I'm back to media. I can just resume going down through my main menu here. Books, K. Books is another folder, so the, I hear K is the uh, shortcut key here. Organizer, O. Organizer. Web tools, B. I mean, there are a lot of things just right off of the main menu. Extras, X. There's extras. Programs R. Utilities U. Programs, utilities. Let's say that here I am somewhere in the main menu, and I know that because I'm in the main menu, I can automatically open the notepad simply by pressing the letter N. Top of document. And already I'm at the top of my document. I've pressed the letter N, which was the hot key to launch the notepad. And I'm just going to go ahead and type some text in here. Uh, this is... A, a, a demonstration. D -M -O -N. I a miss my A-T-I-O-N -A sign. O -N. Demonstration. Using UE, UEB the best I can <laughs> of o how o to T -O -O interact I -T -R -A -C -T. With, interact with, with the Braille Sense. The, the I'm just going to do dot six. Dot six. Let B -R -L B -R -L dot six for capital six. S, S E N sign S, S E period. Lower D rail sense period. Okay. So now I'm in the uh, the first application that I've opened up, which is Notepad. And let's say that I want to go ahead and open a second session. I can uh, go into the main menu here. File F pull down menu. Scratch that. I, I can go into the um, application menu by pressing F2, and I see uh, file, and of course we've got the shortcut key to open this 
um, pull down menu. Pull down menus, they're called. Insert I pull down menu. And I'm just navigating down through here to see what we've got. Go to G pull down menu. Read R pull down menu. Layout L pull down menu. File F pull down. Menu. And we wrap around back to file. So I'll press enter just to new and enter open and it and menu. let's see what we have in the file pull down menu. Open new notepad. W dialog backspace O menu item. And I hear open new notepad. And I see uh, that backspace O is the keystroke that allowed me to do that. Okay, so I can have a second notepad uh, session open here. And whenever I want to do that, I can just press backspace O. But since I'm here, why don't I just go ahead and press enter on it? Top of document. And again, I'm at the top of a new document. So this is document D O C U. Document number number two. Two. Two period. Okay. Uh, so that's not very creative writing, but hey, it's the best I got right now. <laughs> um, so let's say that now that I've got these two documents open, I want to just kind of go back and forth between them, and I can do that with a keystroke that's very similar to, say, um, uh, Alt-Tab, and that is the function keys F2 and F3 pressed together. Task name, notepad. And you see Task name, notepad two. that it just cycles me between my open applications, which at this point are just two notepad sessions. So let's go ahead and open a third editor. And let's open the word processor. And of course, remember, <clears throat> I can use a global hotkey to launch the word processor. Uh, and I heard that was the letter W when I was navigating through the main menu. So I know that pressing F. F1 in combination with W. Task name, word processor. Top of document. Will get me to the top of a, a brand new document in my word processor. Now, now. I have opened O P E N E D open the word processor. The, the J Oops. J four word P R C O C E. S O O O O R lower processor period spelling never one of my fortes. Okay, so now let's say that I want to open um, or look at all the open applications that I have right now, which of course is Notepad, uh, the the original document, Notepad two, and the word processor. Task name word processor three three list item. Because the word processor is the last program that I used. Um, it, it is actually selected in my list of open applications. So you can kind of think of this as your task name, notepad two, two, three list. Item. Your ta your your what are they calling on the iPhone? Your app switcher, right? Task name, notepad one, three list item. On a Windows computer, you know, it's uh, the task manager. You press Windows with tab, and it's kind of the same idea. It shows you all your open, your running applications. So uh, let's just go ahead and. Pick a task name, notepad two, two, three list. A item. document here. Pick on a document. Let's say that I want to go in task name, word processor, to three, three my word processor again. Word processor. And I want to select this text. Well, I can either press enter with the letter A and select all of it uh, and then copy it to the clipboard. But let's say that just for the sake of demonstration, I want to just. Um, block specific text. So I've routed my keystroke, uh, rather I've, I've routed my cursor uh, to the beginning of the line and I'm going to define the beginning of my block with enter B. Start selection. So start selection and just reading in Braille I have opened the word processor and I'm going to put my cursor Again, by pressing the routing button after the period, and I see a flashing cursor. It's actually a flashing full cell, and that has defined my block that I can now either cut with uh, Enter C or rather Enter X or copy with Enter C. So let's go ahead and copy it. Copied. Uh, so I press Enter C, copied it, and now I'm going to press F2, F3 to cycle between my open apps. Task name, Notepad. Task name, Notepad 2. And there's Notepad 2. Let's say that I want to 
Task name, word processor. Put this now into the original the task name, notepad. notepad. So here I am in the original notepad. I'm seeing the text on the Braille display, and I see my cursor uh, is at the end of this uh, document. So I'm going to create a new line, enter. and uh, all I did is press enter there. And now I'm going to press enter with V paste. to paste the text that I just copied out of my word processor. Okay, we heard blurp because I pressed the uh, routing key all the way at the end of this line. Processor period. And I press enter to uh, uh, create a new line. And we heard processor because it was the last word on the line. And it's going to speak the last word on the line when you press enter or space. Now I'm going to go to notepad number two. Task name, notepad two. And I'm going to do a select all, enter A. Select all. And I'm going to cut this out of here with cut to clipboard. Cut to clipboard with enter X. Okay, I'm going to bring cycle between my open apps. Task name, word processor. Now I have a task name, notepad. And here I am in notepad. I press enter V. Paste. And I see that now my text from the other session of notepad has been uh, copied or pasted into this document along with everything else. So if I jump to the top of this document with space one, two, three, space dots one, two, three, top of document this, I can press um, enter with the letter G and it'll read from where my cursor is all the way to the end of this. This is a demonstration of how to interact with the Braille sense. Now I have opened the word processor. So this is document two. End of document. Literary wonder. <laughs> Let's say I want to save this junk. Well, I, I know that there are hotkeys for everything, but maybe I don't remember all of them. So, you know, you can always press space with H to uh, bring up your context sensitive help. File help, F menu item. And we've got all these different types of help. File help, edit help, e help menu edit, insert help, insert. I, menu item. Um, I, I know that uh, edit help, saving e happens to be a file function. File so help, F I'm going to go up to file help and press enter. Create new document. Enter in dots one, three, four, five, list item. And here they are, the all the different things you can do in the file menu. Open document. Enter O dots one, three, five, list item. With the associated hotkey. Save document. Enter S dots two, three, four, list item. Oh, okay. So I hear that save document is the, uh, uh, you know, the, the command to save. So I'm just going to bail out of here with a space E. Help closed. File help. F menu item. And I'm going to uh, edit help e menu item cancel. Cancel that. Now I have opened the word. So this is. I just two. did a, a, a space e again. I could have alternatively pressed um, F four to close out of there, but I I like the uh, legacy keystroke uh, space with e better because I don't have to take my fingers off the braille display or the braille keyboard. So I know that um, enter with s. Final save dialog. File name, no name dot txt at a combo box. Is the file name, and let's just go ahead and name this appropriately junk. J U N K. <laughs> and again, remember I said F3 is tab. I can see what other options are. Type, txt combo box. I can pick the type of uh, document that I want to save it as. Dot combo box. And uh, there's DLC. Dot combo box. DLCX. RTF combo box. RTF. HBL combo box. HBL, which is the BRL combo box. Old hymns format. BRF combo box. BRF. And we we default to TXT. HBL combo box. So I'm gonna press T. TXT combo box. It jumps back up to the text option. That's what I want to save it as because you can open TXT files up in really any word processor. Confirm button. And confirm button is the default button here, so I'll press enter. Saving. Save complete. And I've saved my junk. So I'm gonna to return to the, the main menu, F1. File manager, F. And I'm just gonna go into the file manager. Flash disk one three list item. I've got three options here, flash disk, SD, two, three, SD list card, item. Google Drive, three, three, Google list Drive. Item. I'm gonna press F to go back up to flash disk, flash disk one, three, list item. and press enter clipboard folder 134 list because item. of uh, documents folder is where my files are, all, all my documents are saved by default, whether I created them in the word processor or the notepad. Daisy folder 934 list and I'm item. just gonna press the letter D because first letter navigation is 
database folder 10 available throughout the entire system here dcim folder 1134 list item Documents folder 1234 list item. And I'll press enter on documents. .docx folder 110 list item. And I think I'll press the letter J for junk. Junk.txt 510 list item. And there's my file. And if I press enter here, I would just, you know, go back into the, the junk uh, file or the junk uh, notepad session um, because I haven't closed it out. I, uh, so it would just bring me back where I came in. To, or where I ended it. So, speaking of ending it, I think uh, this is a good start to understanding the user interface with the BrailleSense line of note takers. Thanks for joining me. To learn more about the BrailleSense 6, visit us online at hymns-inc.com. Thanks for watching.